All right, you guys, welcome back to Open Matt Chronicles 1865 Rod here. Back at you guys once again. And as always, we've got Man Schaefer. What's happening, everybody? Schaefer in the house. Up in here. Hell damn, yeah. Shit, man. What are we doing today? Is this... I'm feeling good. How you feeling? Good, you had a good week? I did have a good week. Uh, freaking, I kind of hung out. I was healing out, healing up, you know, because oh, my my shoulder, I got I got that Barata Plata got dropped on you me. You got Barata Plata? Dude, I, I thought I was going to get out. You felt bad when you got Barata Plata because it's like, oh, man, you caught me that? Uh, yeah. It's legit, I though. Did. It is legit. Uh, it's legit, but it's just weird. Like, it is a weird movie. I mean, all right, listen. I was in it, and I should have tapped. But, you know, I try to always check my ego at the door. But obviously, ego says, I think I can get out of this, yeah. right? <laughs> it was already in, man. It's like, it was already a set-in freaking Barada Plata. Man, you're brave. Yeah, I was stupid. I mean, not even brave. That was just dumb. So, so I was, like, jacked up for the last couple of weeks. And then here's the really shitty part. I was just jacked up from something else. For, for like a few weeks. Is that how it goes? So I healed up from the one thing. I jumped back up on the mat. I'm like, man, I'm about to get loose on these motherfuckers. <laughs> and what do I do? I get Barada plotted at like like my fifth roll, right? So I'm rolling, boom, 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 boom. Everything's cool. Like fifth roll in, that Barada plata happens. I felt a little pop, pop, crack, you know, snap, crackle, pop. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, ah, I'm all right. So I just keep fighting and, you know, the next round and yeah. another round and another round. And then I'm like. Cool. I go home. I couldn't even lift my damn hand up. Oh, uh, yeah. I couldn't even lift my hand up. It was ridiculous, right? Damn. Man. Man, I, just it the realization just, is that's a new normal, man. You're going to always have some kind of little injury. Always something. But that's not a little injury. That's Remember that old song, Always Something There to Remind Me? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was actually the first, that was the first uh, MTV video, wasn't it? No, the yes, first MTV video was Video Kill the Radio Star. Oh, no, no, Kill the Radio, Radio Star. Star, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, but was, that uh, was one of that was, the first that, ones, though. Was that Blondie? No, it wasn't Blondie. No, it was, Blondie was the first, technically, the first rap video. Yeah. Um, that Fat Five Freddy. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, where the hell are we going with I all this? Know. What does this have to do with anything we're supposed to be talking about? absolutely nothing to do with it. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> absolutely nothing. I don't even remember where Wait, you know what's funny? Wait, didn't Rapper's Delight, that was the first rap Wait, song, no, right? Rapper's Delight was one of the first rap songs. Did they have the a video? first one, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. But Before it, Blondie? No, Blondie was the first to oh. drop on MTV, and that was like 1980. Three, four, something, something yeah. crazy. Um, Rapper's awesome. Delight, the actual song came out like in Bro, it was the 70s, 70 man. something. It came out in 70 something. I was in high school. The, yeah. <laughs> I, I was, was in high school when this I song was, came out. I think I was just born. Oh, man. <laughs> No, dude, that that did not come out that I early. was born in 76, dude. I it think came it, out like I, 70, 78, 79. Well, okay, so I was two. You know, you might I was living right. in California. No, you know, you might be right because I'm like class of eighty one. Right. So it sh- it could have been seventy six. I think it might have been. It's four years. Yeah. But you it, might be right. Either way, either way. Um, Dang. I know. The video is at a like a Soul Train type thing. It's it's at a live. Oh, I see. Club I see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. But that dude, that's one of my favorite songs. The hip, Sugar Hill Gang, right? Hip, the hip, the hip, hip, the hobbit, and yeah. don't stop the rocket to the bang, bang boogie. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. The boogie. Hold on, man, I'm on one. Now. No, don't do that. That's, I used to hate that song. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Come okay. on. So, <laughs> all right. What are we talking about today, Rod? Okay, so today we're we're talking about like, like what should your what should your mindset be at each belt, basically, right? So like white belt. What should your mindset be? What okay. should your directives be? What should you be trying to accomplish? And these are like, okay, what should you? It's not an ought conversation. Right. More of like what is. Like some people, they, they're going to do it a certain way, but we're just saying like what it kind of should be. Right. What's the, what's the norm? What should yeah. most people probably do just to keep their progression going? Correct. Right? So it's not yeah, it's not a be all, end all. There's, no, there's obviously more than one way to skin a cat. Hell, a person who's... You know, a white belt, but it's got thirty years of wrestling is going to yeah. approach it different it's than gonna be different. than our than our standard accountant who's never never did a exactly. workout in his life. Um, so these aren't like hundred percent objective, but no. they're just like they're the norm, I'd say, for yeah. you know general conversation. Absolutely, Th- these would fit in there. All right, so obviously we're going to start at white belt, right? Um, do you want me to kick it off, or you want to you want to lay you want to lay some some groundwork, some foundation? So I can uh, so I can stay on point. Well, let's just say okay. So let's do this. What is the typical? Let's maybe see, let's see like what should you not do? Like what are the most typical common 
mentalities of white belts that you see or that you've seen throughout your jiu-jitsu journey? Like, what do you see that you think should change? Okay. Or would maybe benefit them better? Not that they're doing anything wrong, but hey, it would just make you better if you did adopted this mindset. Okay. Mindset for a white belt that would be phenomenal would be to come in and understand that you probably don't know much, and that's okay. You're really not here to win right now. You're here to learn. Um, what you should do is focus on fundamentals and building a strong foundation to jujitsu. Be open to hearing what senior belts have to say because it's very easy to like get a blue belt to jump in and say, oh, man, you got to do this shit I saw on YouTube. Yeah. Even though the instructor is saying, hey, what I'm going to do is show you this scissor sweep, right? Um, you should be coachable. So your mindset should be that I need to be able to sometimes turn my brain off and listen and do something, even if, even if it's counterintuitive, because it will be. Like, jujitsu is right. so counterintuitive <laughs> that if you try to think your way through it as a beginner, you're making a terrible mistake, right? Yeah. You're like, well, it makes sense if I do X, Y, Z. And I'm like, well, no, it doesn't. Because yeah. when you do this, you open up yourself for this and this and the, all these counters. So it's like, no. So what we're going to show you is not going to feel right. But you just do it anyway. Yeah, it's weird. You know, it's funny. I, I remember Trevor used to say that. He goes, it's the one sport where your instincts are completely antithetical to what, what you should be doing Absolutely. it's true because like even in if in a street fight if you're punching yeah you could punch some people are going to naturally punch better than others yeah but you ball up your fist and you start swinging right that's not a wrong thing to do right there's obviously a trained guy would do it more effectively mm -hmm. but it's still you ball up your fist and you start swinging right since the beginning but of time you, beginning you, of time you, you Create little boulders and yeah. at the end of your you arms and you boulders. just start start smacking people slanging with them. them yeah <laughs> right but you know you get somebody gets you on full mount your instincts ah your instincts start to push them off and that'll get your arms ripped off. Your arms snapped. And that's the thing, right? So as a white belt, everything you think makes sense, that's probably wrong. Probably so wrong. you don't do it. So humble yourself. You should be able to be humbled across the entire like spectrum from white to black. You should be yeah. able you should learn to humble yourself. But the thing is, in the beginning, it's sometimes harder to be humble because you come in, like I said, you'll have these preconceived notions, yeah. and it's hard to turn that off. You're like, yeah. I've got X amount of life experience, so why should I just ignore that? Like, here this you go. This worked for me in the past. Correct. But what worked for you in the past is not going to work for you right now because this is not the shit you were doing. This is something yeah. different. Um, I, I've got a great example because I, I know I've mentioned this before. When I'm teaching... I actually don't like people asking me questions, right? I don't, but, and again, that's that military mindset yeah. for me, but that's that's how I teach. Yeah. And people learn really well when I'm teaching them if they will just kind of get on board with how I'm teaching, right? I'm like, look, man, you think, oh, I need to, I need to be able to take my time and dissect every single thing so that I understand it better. And I'm like, yeah, that's not what we're doing here. Yeah. I just need you to get the, the broad overview of everything, right? I don't need you to know the nuance of an yeah. arm bar. I just need you to know if I bend your arm the wrong fucking way, it's going to yeah. hurt. Yeah. Don't, don't put your arm there and get it bent the wrong way, right? right? Some people want to be too analytical. You know, you get these fucking nerds, man. They're <laughs> like, and they just want to just they want to talk their way and overly think their way through it. Overthinking things. Some guys do that. Yeah, man. Sometimes you just shut up and do what you're told. Yeah. Right? Like our, our old thing used to be ours is not to question why, ours is but to do or die. Just shut <laughs> up, follow up. instructions. <laughs> yeah, just follow instructions. And then next thing you know, you're going to look up and be like, oh shit, I get it. Right? So, white belts. That yeah. That's the white belts. And I know it also depends on the guys, like the personality and the background. Guys that have no fighting experience at all, they actually tend to do better sometimes because it's like a clean slate. Like clean they don't slate. know anything, they have zero ego and like, I don't know anything. Just tell me what to do. And those guys end up getting very technical. But sometimes a guy with like an MMA background or whatever, they have that fight and they're tough, man. Right. So you kind of have to, I don't know, sometimes they can leverage that and that will be applied on the mats and it'll yield a positive result. Absolutely. But ultimately, it's maybe not the best result for long-term growth. They've you slowed know. themselves down they slowed when themselves it comes to actually learning jujitsu. Yes. They can fight. 
Pick a Great. fight. No, no doubt. Yeah. So I no. Hey, but you're in a fucking jujitsu class. Yeah. You came here because you want to learn jujitsu, right? Yeah. Well, jujitsu is jujitsu, and you're doing Krav fucking Maga. You yeah. know what I mean? It's like <laughs> this is this is not what we're doing here. So, exactly. So I don't need you to go. Oh well, you know what I would do? I mean, if he tries to freaking arm bar, I'm just gonna grab him and rip his balls off. It's like, yeah. well, no, dude, that's that's not allowed here. We're not yeah. teaching that. So so slow your roll, humble yourself. Let everything you know just drift away. Be a blank slate. I, you know, I made a comment once. And I think I don't know if, if uh, it, it came across wrong, but I was like, I said, turn your brain off and just listen. I didn't mean I meant turn it off like in a in a macro sense, like don't overanalyze it. Yeah. Turn everything else. Don't try to over figure out the move or quite. Just do what the instructor says. That's it. And just that's it. Just just that one simple move, and you're good. It's simple. It is. It's simple, but it's not simple. Yeah. It's simple. But it's For not. me, maybe partially because, again, like with the military, plus with the fraternity, oh, yeah. it's like you just do what you're told. Don't think about it. Just get from point A to point B. And when you're at point B, you go, holy shit, I don't even realize yeah. how much ground I covered to get from point A to point B. But I actually know how to do this. Okay, so what about rolling? So now you've got okay. you've got some basic techniques down. You're a white belt. you got about a year in or whatever, year and a half, right. whatever. you got your little time in. What should your like what what kind of intentions should you be rolling with as a white belt? Survive. And I, that may be subjective too, depending on like who what belt you're rolling with or no. What do you, what's your opinion on that? Yeah, dude, like you fucking survive. 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 Just survive. I mean, you barely know anything unless you're this phenom and you're like, "Oh, look at me. I can fucking learn everything super quick." Cool. Someone but that's that. that's an outlier, yeah. right? We're talking about just your basic average everyday Correct. Joe or Jane, right? Or John or Jane, I guess Jane Doe, John Doe, right? Yeah, Jane, Jane. Anyway, so the basic regular everyday people, um, they should really just say, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting somebody who's probably above me. Uh, I know not to push up because I got yeah. armbarred like 50 times of, because I wanted to do what I wanted to do. But now I get it. I get it because you know what? A couple times my arm got tweaked. I was out for a week. It's like, Oops. That's sometimes you got to learn the hard way, right? Yeah. We, my grandfather used to say, a hard head makes for a soft ass. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. So, so sometimes they you. Say, <laughs> they would say, my dad would say, man, your mouth writing a check that your ass can't That's have. the other one. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And, and sometimes you got to take a beating and you got to get hurt a little bit because pain is a hell of a teacher, right? It's a, it's a beautiful way to learn things. It's, you know, negative reinforcement sticks into your head so so should they be trying like they should be trying to survive okay so should you be trying like man i'm gonna i gotta beat i gotta win i gotta get every role i gotta like nah like because like how does that affect you as a a, i mean there's some merit to that i think right if you're 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 a competitive guy uh uh-huh but i i don't know and i did it too bro when i was a white belt i was trying to i gotta win every role but i I didn't win a lot of roles as a white belt but i was getting beat the fuck up because that's reality i was just like who are you beating you be nobody dude i was just getting beat the fuck up like, but again, I was in there and I was the white belt. Yeah. Uh, where are There's a couple other white belts, but like, it was a small school in the beginning over at Hassett's, right? And, and dude, I was just getting beat up. I was like, I was cannon fodder. You know what I mean? I was, I was getting, I was getting whipped on and well, I was just fight. trying to survive. But everybody fought back then. Those were that, we fought. that old school days. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how it was for me so, coming up, man. There was like. There was no like, hey, let's try to work together. But I think that that That's mentality changed, has though. changed. But That's people are getting changed. better now because of yes, that. because listen, man, because the there, fighting you don't learn a lot. Just right. fighting there is own. there is uh, something to all this progress and shit, right? So it's not progressive. So, huh? <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. So sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes <laughs> you do have to change the way you learn. I'm okay with that, right? So these white belts, they're fighting, they're rolling. Try to apply your technique that you learn. Cool. Yeah. Try against everyone. Um, if you have some upper belts who are like kind of working with you, they'll feed you some of this stuff. They'll feed you yes. moves so that you can get it. They'll feed you shit so that you can get a barata plata and put them out for two weeks exactly. or so. <laughs> <No. Fact. laughs> but whatever. Um, you you get out there and when that move is fed to you, you take that shit. This is your opportunity. I'm not saying rip his freaking legs or arms yeah. off or anything like that. But you you see it, and there, you, your first instinct is, there's no way he made this mistake. 
and I'm going to actually capitalize. Yeah, no shit. Like, no, he did not make that mistake. And no, you're not going to capitalize on it. He's feeding you a move. Yeah, yeah. So he's barely going to defend. He wants you to see it because. See if you recognize it. What do yeah. you do with it? Do you take Aye. it? Because at some point in time, one of your white belt compadres is going to feed something to you and it won't be on purpose. Exactly. And then you'll be like, oh shit, I just caught this live. Yeah. But it's because you've practiced it, you've drilled it live, you've actually yep. experienced it. So don't be afraid if you see something and you're going, oh, the professor's probably just baiting me. He doesn't need to bait you. Yeah. If he wants you, he'll just take <laughs> That's you. That's true. Right? Right? If he wants you, he'll take you, man. Just. Yeah. If you see it, go for that shit. Yeah. Don't try to rip it off. Keep it at that 70%. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't be stupid. But um, don't be afraid of it either. Don't go, oh, he's, he's probably thinking two, three steps ahead of me, so I better try to think two. You can't. You can't think two, three steps ahead because you don't even know how to do a scissor sweep, and yeah. that's okay. That's why we're teaching you. Exactly. So you just turn your brain off and just react. You saw it. Oh, shit. Scissor Got sweep. It. I just practiced this for the fucking two weeks. Like, good job, man. You so got scissor it. sweep his ass. Yeah. And then you're mounted. And you're like, I got mounted. Oh, yeah. shit, he reversed me. But you got that scissor sweep. Yeah. So that's the white belt thing. You should just be surviving. You should be trying to take moves when, you, when you're presented them. Fighting other white belts, be careful because you don't want it to turn into a competition between exactly. you. Exactly. Yeah. Like, don't hurt, don't hurt your partners, man. Your partners are, like, they're a gift. They really are because you can't develop without can't your partners. You can't do shit without them. And you got that one guy who's a good training partner, and all of a sudden something goes bad. You can't train with them anymore, and it's like, man, that sucks, man. That guy's good, you know. Yeah. It hurts both of you. you oh, know? yeah. Because a lot Slows of guys. Down like, everybody. Yeah, yeah. A lot of guys, like, you know, you learn from these people. You basically learn, even if the guys are submitting, you're like, man, I, that guy taught me a lot just from submitting me, you know. Hell damn, yeah. That's how you get better. Okay, so uh, what about blue belt? So blue belt, you've been blue training belts. a couple years, now you're blue belt. What should your mentality be? What your outlook on jiu-jitsu? How do you train? How do you roll? What, what intention level? Well, for the. 30 to 40% of them that keep freaking training after they get blue belt. That's true. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, I guess what they should do is say, okay, I should know a lot more here, right? This is my, this is my first progression after white belt. The coach fucking thinks that I know some shit. Yeah. I better act like I know some shit, right? You speak the language. Yeah, you speak the language of jujitsu. Yeah. Right? You've probably gotten something tweaked, so you know what it feels like when oh, you yeah. when you do too much. You know what it feels like when you tap too late. You know what it feels like if you overexert something and you hurt somebody else. Yeah. So once again, still be careful. Um, I think you're really. This is where you don't think counterintuitively anymore. Or no, I'm sorry. You do think. Excuse me. You do think counterintuitively now. You don't just go. Oh shit, this is happening. I have to do this. Yeah. You start to recognize, oh shit, this is happening. If I do this, it's probably gonna be worse. You know? Yeah. Because you're learning jujitsu. Yeah, I think you're like, what do they call it? Like like a conscious competent when you're consciously aware of, of you know some of the dangers. Right. Whereas a white belt, you're not even aware of anything. Yeah, right? you're, just, you're just looking around. Yeah. You're like those freaking people visiting New York for the first time with yeah. a camera and they're just staring up in the air and, and they wonder why they got mugged. Sorry, Unconscious sorry incompetent. Mugged. That's a white belt. You don't even know you're incompetent. Yeah, you're right? just like, you don't even know what yeah, you don't know. Yeah. And a blue belt, you start knowing, like, I think I'm, yeah, you're like more of a conscious incompetent. You're still, <laughs> no, seriously, like, you're aware that, like, man, I know some stuff, but there's so much more that I don't know because you're not, you're not subconsciously just like reacting. You're still like, Correct. oh, I'm in this position. What do I do? I'm trying to remember the back take of thing, what, how yes. to get out. You're constantly trying to put that information together, right? Agreed. So. And not only that, you've seen so many other things that you start to recognize, oh, shit, well, this move, this had to happen in order to save myself. This is kind of similar. So yeah. maybe I got it. So you start to think differently. Like you said, you speak the language of jujitsu. Speak the language. Right? Little um, sentences, little, yeah. little broken English. So what do you do? I mean, now you're starting to learn more. Yeah. Like this, this is like where your mind should have opened up. I mean, I, I don't know. All those like druggies and shit out there probably would say something <laughs> like, "Oh, this is like LSD, yeah. man. It's like your mind. You've expanded <laughs> your your mind, your consciousness. It'd be like shrooms now, right? I, I don't fucking LSD's know. I've never done 60s. any drugs. That'd be like know. the sixties. I don't know, dude. I, I, I don't know. 
What is the new thing now? What do they do? That's the stuff Joe Rogan's talking about. Crack? No, no, not crack. Oh. That's nineties. <laughs> what's, what's the what's the drug they do that, that uh it like opens your mind and the spirit? Oh, c- well, there's a few. There's what's one the I heard Joe called Salvia. Then there was um there was some know. other weird. Don't shit. do any of that stuff. Yeah, don't do drugs. Nice what stuff. the fuck? Yeah. yeah, just say no to drugs, kid. Just say no. Nancy Reagan kept me off drugs. She was pretty good. Facts. Thank you, Nancy Reagan, wherever you are. Yeah. Anyway. Shout, um, shout out to Nancy Reagan. <laughs> So, so what's in your mind to me? You're a blue so belt. Like blue how, belt. What, what about intent level when you're rolling like so crazy? intent? You intend to beat the hell up on some white belts. There you go. You, they're food. Yeah, man. It's like, but but here's the thing. Blue belts, especially when you're fresh, you got yourself a fresh and so clean, brand new one. You're not far off from them damn white belts. So they're going to be coming back at you too, yeah. right? Because they're like, ooh, well, you know, coach said don't don't necessarily just try to get everybody. But I'm about to get my blue belt soon. I got like, exactly. I got like four stripes. I got to show them. Oh, gotta, and it never ends. Oh, I got to show them. I got to show them that. Watch me catch some of these blue belts. Yeah. The ego, man. The ego takes the over, ego. right? You get so close. So blue belts beware, yeah. right? Yeah. Blue belts beware. You should be handling these white belts for the most part, especially yeah. as you get to the upper echelons of your yeah. blue belt. You should be handling these newer white belts. Yeah. Um, there's always exceptions to the rules. There's always there's always you know, the outlier. Yeah. I'm not talking about the guy exactly. that trains. We're just seven talking days to everybody. Week. Yeah. Yeah. Everything being equal, you know, same guy, same size, same age, same all this shit. Your match perfectly, except you've trained longer. Yeah. They've trained shorter. You should win. If all things are equal, except for the length of time you've been training and and your what your knowledge, he should win. Blue belt should 100%. win. 100%. There you go. Because it's like, you know, it's a fucking no-brainer. Um, you should... Should you be still... Beware. <laughs> you, should, you should beware of the purple belts. Because... Oh, we're, oh, we're going to talk about them, but not right now. Okay. I'm talking about a blue belt's mentality. A oh, yeah. blue belt... A blue belt, you know... They're like fucking uh, finding Nemo. They're that dory fishing and shit. They're, yeah, yeah, yeah. they're swimming around. They got a little confidence. And yeah, they're like, okay. Their chest out I'm a little bit. I'm a big fish. I'm a big belt. fish. But you a big fish yeah, back in a small pond. So then you kind of got dropped into the ocean. And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm a big fish. And you go, oh, shit. Did you see that <laughs> fish that just flew by there? It's crazy, right? So you're like a trout or some shit. I don't know, which is pretty good, I guess, yeah. right? But then these fucking purple belts are like barracudas. Oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, shit, wait a minute. That's where it changes. It starts to get ugly. So what you try to do against these barracudas is kind of, you're still trying to survive. Yeah. Give them a little fight. Yeah, you give them a little fight. Yeah. I mean, they're going to probably bite your ass yeah. off, but you, you give them a fight. Yeah. You don't make it easy. You go down swinging, right? I agree. But the white belts, get them when you can. And since you're expanding your mind, learn a bunch of moves, right? Learn a bunch of stuff. Like blue belt's not where you where you hone your game. Blue exactly. Belt's where you just throw shit against the wall. You throw that spaghetti yeah. against the wall. See what sticks. You shouldn't look at a blue belt and say, "Oh, that guy's a freaking you know leg lock guy. That guy's a back take guy." Not a blue belt. No. Right? That should be too early for that because you're still kind of learning all. The Jack of all trades. Yeah. Master of none. Yeah. At I think in purple right you start saying, oh, "Okay, That's he's a back take guy. Up. He's a barambolo guy. Whatever." 100% agree. So speaking of purple, man. Oof. Man, now we're going big. So purple belts Purples are, killers, are like man. the fucking redheaded stepchildren of jiu-jitsu <clears throat> because they're really dangerous. Yep. So all you purple belts out there, congratulations. Yeah. You're actually really, really dangerous, like to the point where sometimes we don't even like fighting you yeah, that's because – you are at that stage. You're like an angry teenager. <laughs> a rebellious right? teenager. Yeah, you're like a fucking rebellious yeah. teenager. You got shit to prove still, right? Because they're going to be there for so long, They're going to be like, at Purple Belt Purgatory, yeah. as you should be. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you're going to be there, and you're going to be like, I've been a Purple Belt for 37 years, or, you know, at least in your <laughs> mind, right? Yeah. So <laughs> you're like, this is bullshit. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take out my freaking angst and aggression on everybody. And I get it. That's what the fuck purple belts do. It's supposed to be. But there's purple. a huge jump between blue and purple. You're damn right. You know, white to blue is a big jump, but blue to purple is a huge jump. And That's where you start getting, okay, now this guy is getting pretty good. Yeah, man. because now I always like to say let's look at the middle of the road belt, right? So let's say middle of the road purple belt. You got your purple okay. belt. You're now comfortable in it. You've been sitting on it for a year or two, right, as a purple belt. And you've seen 
injuries. You've had injuries. You probably wear a fucking knee brace and fucking, you know, yeah. <laughs> you, you've you got scars and shit, right? <laughs> so you've earned that damn purple belt. Yeah. And I've always said, man, if you get to a purple belt, the chances of you not getting a black belt, it's ridiculous. Oh, it's yeah. like yeah, if you you're if it. you're a purple belt, you're gonna be a black belt. Yeah. Like very very rarely do they do they bail at that. A point. few fall off, but it's rare. Because really, blue belt is where you fall off. Correct. Because blue belt's a long time. White and blue. Because yeah. you're like you get discouraged getting to that purple belt. Yeah. But when you're at the purple belt, you're like I don't even fucking you're care like, man, anymore. I put all man. these years in now. Exactly. Like, I ain't quitting now. It's like I'm not going anywhere. You're gonna have to kill yeah. me. And that's cool. That's awesome. That's what purple belt should be. They're dangerous. They're da- and see, the reality is, in my opinion, too, there's not really a huge difference between, think of a good purple belt, like a seasoned purple belt yeah. who's been sitting on it for a couple of years. Even him and a black belt, I think they're pretty They're pretty I mean, close in so many ways. You know damn near most of the same stuff. You know most of the same stuff. It's the just black belt, how good do you apply exactly. it, how sharp is the your The black belt's sharper right? if he's been doing it longer. Purple belt, he kind of like got a dull fucking machete. And yeah. He's, and he's just hacking and hacking and hacking yeah. and shit. He'll cut, <laughs> he'll cut through it. He'll, still get, yeah. he'll cut through that shit. But he's got he's to work for it, right? Black has got a scalpel. Fucking scalpel. S- fucking whoo, razor, yeah. razor sharp. You know what I mean? So Purple Belt should eat. That's what the hell Purple Belt eat. should do. Purple Belt should be going around just manhandling everybody. Damn, hero. <laughs> Not really manhandling everybody. But Purple Belts should be showing that there's a difference between me and you there- when they start talking to the White Belts. When yeah. They start oh, yeah. The white oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right? And if you think about it, the Madden forces are typically the purple belts. Purple, yeah, they're purple purples, man. Pur- a lot of purples, yeah. Though, yeah, a lot of purples. They're um, the Madden forces, man. Right, go because fight, they're go they're fight just, one of my purple belts. Yeah, they're mad. They're Look, gonna, that's what that's what John did with me when uh, when my boy Dave oh, came through. Got, right, I was a purple clawed, belt. He was a brown clawed. belt. And yeah, when I got fucking tiger clawed all over the Bruce fucking Lee face, hell yeah, he's like ah. <laughs> I, I like to tell myself it's because I was so fucking dangerous. He, you know, he had to resort to a tiger claw, but. Nah, he would have probably just beat me up. But still, but I mean, at Purple Belt, dude, I was fucking mean. I was aggressive at Purple Belt. Yeah, I think Belt. everybody is at Purple Yeah, like, yeah, dude, that's when, like, I was still wearing, like, a mouthpiece and shit. Like, that's, that's when. That's time to fight, actually. Huh? I was fighting motherfuckers in Purple Belt, man. Cause, like, but is there a nuance to it or what? Or is it just like, nah, I ain't no damn nuance. <laughs> yeah, there, of course. Of course there's nuance. Because, of course, look at a, a girl comes in. Yeah, you ain't a mall. I'm, I'm a Purple Belt. A murder. If she dies, she dies. Yeah. No. But they tend to fight. You know what my theory Here's is? The deal. Oh, go ahead. Let me hear it. Okay, my theory is like you fight hard, really hard against one belt below you. Because I even looked at myself like like for me, it's like, okay, yeah, black belt to black belt. We kind of uh-huh. just like, yeah, we're both guys. Chill, chill, right? right? But for me, like a brown belt, I'll probably fight a little bit harder for. Yeah. You know, maybe I'll try to catch him in something because, I don't know, for whatever reason, it's like, you just want to put up a better fight for them, right? Well, it's because they're also going to be coming after you. They're going to be coming after you, right? Yeah. They're, they're coming for the throne. Yeah. They're coming for it, yeah. But uh, purple belts, you're still kind of like, I know they're dangerous, but it's me, it's more like trying to just defend. I'm not trying to just go on and try to, you know, really. You're not trying to maul a purple No, belt. and I, again, this is me being an older guy, so I got to pick and choose my battles more yeah. carefully. But. Well, I would, okay, I would I would say that even transcends one level just down. your age. One yeah. level down. So. Because a brown right. belt's going to maul a purple brown belt. Brown belt should be jumping all they over the They should be jumping belts. the purple. Right. Purple's going to get the blues. Blues are going to beat up the white belts. Yeah, dude. It's right? a, it just it's, goes it's one fucking, belt down. It's the circle of life. It's circle a circle of life. Chain. But think about a purple belt. It's not going to be mauling a white belt. He should. I mean, he, he should could, not be. But he it, shouldn't be. Now, he should probably be pretty dominant, though. Oh, yeah. He could be dominant. He should be. He should yeah. be here, here's, how, here's how a good purple belt, white belt roll should go. Slap hands. Boom, boom. You got five minutes on the clock, right? Purple belt. Bow. Reaches up, collar grip, arm drag, choo, arm bar. Happens so quick. They're like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah. yeah. Right? <clears throat> Slap hands. We, we, we still got four minutes and 45 seconds left because that was only 15 seconds, right? Four minutes, 45 seconds left. Bow, bow, bow. Boom. Hit him with a scissor sweep. Mounted. Boom. Doing another arm bar. Okay. There you go. Cool. Slap hands. You still got fucking four minutes and 30 seconds. <laughs> you subbing it well, basically. You're right? Saying. So, yeah, I would but agree. After that third or fourth sub, Chill, you did it. You got it. You yeah. obviously you you understand that he yeah. is food, right? He's food. He's not going to beat you up. Typically, yeah. And then you say, okay, I'm gonna chill now. I'm gonna actually start working on tightening up some of the things that I'm already doing. I know I can get them, so I don't need to get them anymore, right? I've already tapped them three, four times, and we've only been two minutes rolling. We got three more minutes of this shit. I'm not trying to discourage this guy because 
I was a white belt once too, right? I remember. I'm still going to eat, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to feed him a little bit. I'm going to feed him a little bit, right? I'm going to let him get to a better position. I might not let him get me, but I'm going to let him get to a better position so that I can work out of that position and make myself better again. Because, again, purple belt's a selfish belt, and it should be. And it should be. So put yourself in danger, air quote danger, you know what I'm saying? Um, Because you let him get your back. And you're like, oh, shit. It's like, oh, my God, I'm – I'm scared. You, yeah. you got my back. But now it's time for you to work that escape you've been that you learned on exactly. YouTube or whatever. You know what I mean? Um, but purples and browns, those are good fights, man. Yeah. Well, now Dude, so here's, those here's, are here's good the flip fights, side, right? Man. So this is fighting when you're fighting down as a purple. Yeah, fighting down. But the dangerous thing about purples is they can fight they can up fight too. Up. Yep. Right. So now you're you see these brown belts and you're like, is he really that much better than me? I gotta see. I gotta, test I gotta see, man. Yeah. I gotta see for myself. And you might get tossed up, and that's fine. And you know what's crazy about happen. that? If you get tossed up, no skin off your ass because you're like, eh. You're like he's a brown belt, right? But now that brown belt's like, oh shit! <laughs> it's like this purple belt is actually dangerous. Oh yeah. They can both. They can both get each other. Yeah, right? and it's, it's like, like who I makes can't a mistake? Let them just. I can't. Yeah, he's like, I can't make a mistake. Yeah. I gotta stay. I gotta stay on my freaking grind, yeah. right? Now, if you're a purple belt and you actually do warm ups, you're a bad motherfucking purple belt. Because <laughs> that's the other thing that happens oh, yeah. with purple belts. Because they're dangerous. They got some skills, right? Sometimes they're hungry. Sometimes they start slacking off a little bit, or or they get this mindset where they're like, "I got that part. I don't need that shit. I'm I'm good with that. Ours Let are me just good, though, focus." Man. I would say ours are pretty. Our guys are good. Yeah, they, they do are. the warm ups, dude. Man. Hell, our purple belts run the warm ups. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's because our fucking brown belts and black belts don't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's man. not totally true. That's not totally true. Um, but yeah, purple belts, man, you got to fight up. You got to fight down. That's why they're the toughest ones. I think. And that's and, and you're going to do it for the a long of time. Fight in them. Yeah. Purple belts have the most fight. Yeah, because and you're going to do it for a long time. Yeah. Okay, because so, now we go to brown, right? Go to brown, yeah. What about brown belts? So here's the thing about brown belts. They try to get black belts, basically. Yeah, 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 for sure. But and purples. Black and purples on their radar. That's where they got to, oh, they're kind of serious. But a blue belt to a brown, eh, it's like, it's just, they're, they're letting they're them work a little bit. They're working fact, on them. blue belts should just be getting taught by brown belts. Correct. Like, white and brown, white and blue, when they deal with the brown belts, that brown belt should oh, yeah, just yeah. be educated. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I mean, like, they'll should not be toss a them up. It should never be like, you know, let them take you, put you in a position, but you're like, eh. Is it really even dangerous? It's like a brown belt can really say, okay, let's start with you on my back yeah. with the freaking hooks and a, a, a grip, again, you know, a, a choke grip, and let's go from there. Yeah. So they shouldn't be worried about it. Um, now when they're fighting the purple belts, right. well, I love those matches. now you're going out, you're fighting somebody who they, they, want, they want your seat. Yeah. They want your – they. They want to be you, right? So they're like, I, I gotta, I gotta show coach, I gotta show everybody that I'm ready for my brown belt too. That's I'm true. ready to be here, right? But the brown belt has to go, huh? Not today, Satan. Not today, Satan. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and but even part about that. So here's the thing, right? Because like I said, I, I like to talk middle of the road. <clears throat> so middle of the road brown belt. He's already defended off so many purple belts attacks, and he's like an old scarred up bear. Yeah. And, you know, he's got like he's got patches of fur that'll never grow back. <laughs> you know, he's all jacked up. Um, but he's like, he's like, man, this is this is kind of easy now. I kind of get this whole jujitsu thing. He's like, I haven't really learned a new move yeah. in like a year and a half. It's like I'm just. He's like, in fact, all the shit I was doing is purple belt. I've kind of been getting rid of it. I've been like throwing that shit off by the wayside. I was purple belt. I was like, gotta get this, gotta get this, gonna oh, yeah. hit this, gonna hit this. I need to know how to do the freaking yeah. Arata Plata, and then I gotta hit the Uma Plata, and then the Gogo Plata, and then. Yeah. And he's like, brown belt, you start going, I'm just gonna use this really simple move because I'm just trying to get the tap. I'm not. I'm not trying to get highlight reels exactly. all the time. You start thinning, you know, that, thinning right. it out. If yeah, you start cut, right. cutting, that, cutting the fluff out. Cut yeah. the fat out. You know, cut the fat. You don't need that bullshit. Um, you know it. You can teach it. 
And it's awesome when you're teaching the class and you're like, let me show these motherfuckers something fancy, something they've never seen before, right? And then all the white belts and blue belts are like, oh, my God, this is amazing, right? But Or like you'll get a move, but you're just kind of like, oh, that was slick. You'll just keep it in your back pocket. Like if this ever comes up, I got this. Yeah. You already know it because you've yeah. been rolling so long. You already got it. It's their muscle memory. Easy. But you're not going to drill it a million times to try to get it. You've already done that at, at – you know, a purple belt, you've done that. Brown belt, you start forgetting moves. You kind of do, yeah, dude, there's so many. There's moves you just start fun. forgetting moves, It is moves, funny. Man. I thought it was just me, but sometimes nah. like, oh, my God, sorry, I remember that was a good You forget I used to all that, move that all the time. Shit. What happened? Because it's it's not even necessary. But that was crazy. Somebody will teach you, you go, oh, shit, I used to do that. Yeah. And it comes right back. It comes back. right back. And next thing you know, you hit them with it five, six, seven times. And you're like, yeah, It's weird, man. especially if it's a really good move. Because let's say you get a move and you just start hitting on everybody. You do that for like three months. You're like, okay. It's like you're, you yourself get bored. You're like, bored with it. I got to do something else. Yep. And then you don't do it for years and so you kind of forget it. It's like my north-south mm. choke, right? I do that one-arm north-south choke. Um, I just don't do it. Yeah. Like, because. Oh, yeah. yeah that's a good right, one. Because I'll go from side control, go yeah, from side mount, and I'll boop. I just hit it. And yeah. It's like. Dude, I, like I always get this. Yeah. Like, eh, I just stop. It's like you want to right? challenge yourself a little bit more. And it's also that one where that other one where I drop to the side from side mount. Oh, yeah. And hit that freaking um that americana. It's just easy. It's in you. And I'm like, eh. But if you were like doing a competition, that would then you would come. Man, out. then you yeah, just fucking like, you take your go to shit. Yeah. You like this always works. I'm gonna try to make it work. Yeah. But usually when you get to the competition, you're like you're dealing with motherfuckers who's playing a much tighter game. Yeah. And then, you know, you can't pull that shit off. So, the brown belts, they're beating up these purple belts sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes they're getting caught because yeah, some... these guys and are And it's hungry, no shame right? if they do, man, because that happens, man. Purple belts are but tough. Like, yeah, but, a, but the purple belts are barracudas, and they're dangerous. Yeah. But you're a shark. At that point in time, you're a shark, man. You're, you're, you're out there. You don't sleep. You got to fucking keep the water going <laughs> over your gills and shit, or you're going to die. You got to keep moving. And, and you're beating up most purple belts, probably. Yeah. You know, and you keep turning. Blues and whites, you're working with. You're just yeah, you're letting, you're letting them work. Yeah, Purple right. belts, you need to take it seriously still. But then every once in a while, you look over like this. You look over your shoulder, and you're like, shit, there's a black belt. Yeah. Whew, all right. It's like, here it goes. Hey, professor, you want to roll? Oh, shit. Right? Then it's on. But now, the black belts are like, oh, crap. Damn it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> They're like, really? All right, let's do this. Let's do it, man. It's like, I've been chilling. Nobody's really giving me much of a freaking threat. A couple purple belts tried to go crazy, but I slowed them down. Yeah, yeah. It's like, but damn, this freaking brown belt, he might be a pain in the ass. He's, he's, a, he's a little bit younger than me. He's uh, <laughs> we're the same size. That's true. He's hungry, but damn. All right, let's do it. And and then then those brown belts, man, like they start – they start really chipping away at the black belts, and, yeah. and it gets dangerous. It's usually a stalemate. Like, that's how I see Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Most of the times when I see, like, just, just you know, a decent roll, yeah. it's I, I don't see a lot of taps between blacks and browns. You're right. You're it's, right. They stalemate out. Yeah. Because what the hell does a black belt know that a brown belt doesn't? Exactly. It just really comes down to style versus that's style. It. That's you know, it. And, then, and, and just honing, just sharpening yeah. shit up a little bit, right? Yeah. Because we said the purple belt got a, a freaking machete. The brown belt at least has a nice katana. He's got a nice sword going on. It's, it's, it's clean. It'll chop some shit up, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Fucking. Okay. Then, like, a fucking black belt's like a lightsaber. So, what about black belts? <laughs> so, who are you fighting? Black belts are fighting other black belts. I think black belts, and it goes at one belt level down still, though. Because, they, they, like you said, you just said, like, you got to respect you're, that brown. you got to like, respect them. And the purples, too, but, though. The question then is like, okay, how hard am I going against this? Brown yeah, belt? yeah, no, 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 yeah. It's like, am I am I going to really start kicking it up? Because if we're just going seventy percent, yes. right? If we're both going seventy percent, we're going to stalemate. Yeah, because yeah, seventy percent, I can't catch this guy exactly. at seventy percent, and he damn sure ain't going to catch me at seventy yeah. percent. So now we're really just looking at each other, and I'm just like, I'm just watching you grow. I'm just watching you get better. <clears throat> I'm seeing your technique clean up, and I'm like, oh, shit, that was a good sweep. Oh, shit, that was, that was a very close freaking submission. That's how the black belts start evaluating the yeah. brown belts, right? Because you're almost looking at yourself. You're just looking at a, a, a mirror that just shows you the past a little bit. Um, I think the black belts really kind of go against other black belts. Yeah, I would agree. You know? I'm sure it's situational. Like, I wish I, I, wish I started earlier because, like, 
I'm looking at it like I'm still like a, like I said I'm an older guy, so it, it makes it a little bit different because I'm factoring that in, you know. But I, if I was like a younger, then I probably would be. I wonder if like if I was younger, would I be trying to like maul everybody as a black belt? I don't know. Maybe I would. Like right I now, so. probably would. Like honestly, so, yeah. like right now, I, I just try to just you know roll, ch- you know, chill 70 75 percent, you know. Yeah. And whatever happens, happens. I'm not going. I'm trying not to get injured, so I'm not rolling that hard. Exactly. But. And that's my mentality, right? So, but if I was 25, 30, I'd st- like maybe I'd be different, you know? So, so, like, I don't really have, I don't really have the ability to even really comment on that objectively because I'm older. So, so your I'm coming situation, at from my situation, your situation is really actually, different. again, it puts you into the outlier, yeah, I'm an freaking outlier. thing, right? You're not the norm, yeah. Because, because here's the thing: there's plenty of black belts the same age as you. Just as in good shape as you. Yeah. Just as all that. But they've probably been black belts for 15 That's freaking true. years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like 25 years. Or, I, 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 was, I was trying to be long nice, time. dude. Yeah, I, was yeah, trying yeah. To, I was trying to fucking be nice. All right, all right. <laughs> but you're right. All right. They've been a fucking black belt for like 122 years. And you got your black belt. And you got like four <laughs> years in, right? So. <laughs> but see, now, like I said, though, but see, that would, that would be motivating for me to like, to like, if I was rolling with somebody like, you know, my same age or close to it with the same skill same skill like, level you want to fight a black a belt. Clone. yeah like he's been a, he's been training for about like 13 to 15 years that would be a, yeah you know around well, my that around be the same me, as you around the same me that would be good you know that said, would and that'd be motivating but you don't find a lot of that so well, you don't find a lot of that. yeah see that's what i'm saying because flip it to the norm right guys who are 30 will find a bunch of black belts who are 30. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You know it's what I'm saying? Lot. Like, yeah. they'll find oh, yeah, their a perfect big, match. Yes. Right. Yes. That, 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 that pool of fucking talent oh, huge. is That's huge, huge, right? You being the outlier, you you are, what was it, the fly in the ointment type deal? Yeah. Like, you're, you're the shit where they're like, well, wait a minute. Why is this old guy fucking beating us up, <laughs> though, right? See, because then they, they try to figure that shit out. And they're like, yeah. well, do I, should I kick it up? Should I kick? You know, should I? What, what should I do? Should, he says go at seventy, but I'm not. I'm not keeping up because you're still you're a weird situation because you're like really, really freaking healthy at your age. What you, you said he called me cocaine bear the other day. I know, right? Because it's just like, <laughs> like let's go easy. On, listen, it's my first Dude. day back. My chest is torn. Let's go. And like, what does he do? Mid roll. <laughs> yeah, you He's like, Rod, your your uh, CB rod from now on. <laughs> Shout out to him, <laughs> cocaine bear rod. That's Hell hilarious, yeah. dude. That's so dude, funny. Well, listen, but I don't even see it though. I thought I was just chilling. Every one of your nicknames basically know, speaks man. to the same I thing know. about you. I gotta accept it. Yeah, it's a microwave. Why do you microwave? Yeah, because I cook you fast as shit. Oh, that's like man. that's Rod. You're fucking microwave, oh, right? What else are you? You got fucking um. We got microwave, we Rodinator. had cocaine, fucking like Rodinator. Why did they call you Rodinator? Because <laughs> that's that like like the Terminator, yeah, though, right? Because once know. again, you're just you're you're Man. like a fucking cyborg, dude. Man. You're you do things that somebody else, your same age, will not be able to do. I really yeah. wish I started younger. That'd be cool. Yeah, everybody that'd wishes awesome. they started younger. That's true too, huh? Fifteen year old says, "You're thirty. Oh, I wish I started when I was five. You're right. It's all relative, every, right? Yeah. Everybody thirty year old guys gonna be like, "Man, I wish I started when I was ten. Yes, I started at twenty four. But then 26? everything would be different, though, too. Yes, and that, that's different. the thing, right? You might be all messed up. If, your body if, could be wrecked. You don't know. So one you just thing is different. You have. Everything is different. Yeah, you change right? one thing. It had to be this way. If you're happy with your life, yeah. if you're happy with the progress you've been making, and if you don't want everything else to unravel, it all had to go down like this. That's almost like, what do they call it, the, the grandfa- grandfather theory? Yeah, <laughs> that grandfather paradox. Grandfather you paradox, go yeah. Go back and you stop your forget. Yeah, yeah it's, it's – or, or the butterfly effect would be a Butterfly effect. Would butterfly be more effect, closely, yes, yes. Because you change one thing and then, boom. It everything just, changes. It goes out in ripples, man. <clears throat> Everything's fucked up. I like my life, so – yeah, it had to be this way. Had to be this way, dude. I'm cool with it. Um, and then, yeah, so that's the black belt. Now, black belt mentality, yeah, you just roll with other black belts. Work with your brown belts. Get ready to promote them. See where I was going with that whole thing, though? <laughs> the reason why I was going with that was, like, like that's a mentality I have, but you do too, though, right? But, see, we're both older, though. So, like, yeah. like what about a younger black belt? You know, like, like I think we had Manny on here, Manny Marino. Like, right, he's, he's way younger than us. He's way younger, right? So. Yeah. I don't think he's, he's like, hungry. Dude, he's hungry, dude. Yeah, Man, so, so yeah, that's he's what hungry, crazy, dude. Right? I guess. Shit. You, you ain't gonna run through Manny, dude. So, you so now you do realize you bringing this up 
could throw a monkey wrench in this entire fucking episode because <laughs> maybe we're speaking to all of this from a from our perspective older, from an older hobbyist perspective. Yes. Because if man's saying, like, I don't agree with that, man. I'm trying to kill everybody. <laughs> right? Yeah. You got you got black belts yeah. who are fighting like purple belts. Yeah. So, I think that's the case. I really do. Shit. So that way, you guys are going shoots. to have to. You guys are going to have to chime in on that one. Yeah. You're, damn. We should. I think I did ask him that though on that last. We, we kind of. I did ask yeah, him, but it's like he works with people still. But he has yeah. like he rolls super hard with the guys that he's trained with, like Julio and him. Yeah, they they go if, at it, if, dude. If you're a much younger black belt. Are you I'm still trying sure. to be that top dog? You know what I mean. The school, yeah, like, you're, not still, you're still. Are you still trying to prove shit? Yeah, I don't know. And I think they are. I, I think, think there are a lot of them. Still. I think I would too, though, man. If I was like 25, 30, I'd be like, yeah, you know you what it is. I think, I think our shit is. Bro, I man. started slowing down because I had to. My body started slowing down. It was not like, oh, I'm gonna be like nicer. No, no, bro. I, if I could bring it every roll, I'd be bringing it. It's not altruistic. It's just yeah. my body is just slowing down. Yeah, if I was, it's, it's it's a higher right, risk of a higher risk of injury. It's not worth it. If I was like. 15, 16 when I started, I'd be, mauling, I'd be like 25, yeah. 25 at a black belt. I would have been, yeah, I'd have been way different. So we can't act like we're all nice, dude. We ain't nice. I am nice. I don't know. No, we ain't nice. Dude, you're friendly. I'm the <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> oh, man. Seriously, man. We would be, we'd be what we're preaching against. <laughs> I mean, like I said, purple belt me was pretty, was pretty mean. I was too at purple belt. Purple belt me. So maybe if I was a black belt at the age that I was at purple belt, I might have been. I might have been. Like I'm saying, man, you don't start an asshole. Yeah, huh? huh. Because see, I, I realize now with like the technique I have, I don't have to go as hard as I did at purple belt Correct. to catch some. You know what I mean? To have a good role, to learn stuff, and to get submissions. So okay. you do what you need to do, basically. And see, I think this is the maturity level then, because man, we like. Even a 25, 30 year old black belt will recognize that they don't have to work that hard to control lower belts. Correct. So I would hope that they have a maturity level and, and enough ego control to go, you know, I, I don't have anything to prove against these guys. So let me just chill. Let oh, I'm sure just... they do that. But I'm talking about, let's just say you got a guy, a high level black belt competitor, young guy, but then he's going against maybe like a really tough brown belt they're gonna be fighting i think yeah then they might just be they might even a purple belt they're gonna be fighting you're right because that purple belt's gonna try to take that you know i want that crown yeah it's gonna be like who's gonna who's gonna be the king of the jungle type shit yeah you might be right fuck so all right everybody i guess you're gonna have to comment because i i got a feeling we're going to have a lot of (laughs) dissenting uh, views so if you're a younger black belt if you're a younger black belt let us know, like, are you, like, what are you doing differently? Shit. We're going to have to have, like, a call-in show one time. And just freaking just we like, do. That'd be interesting to get other yeah. Black Belts' perspectives. Welcome to the Open we got a couple Chronicle good Black Belts hotline. Yeah. We got a couple good Black Belts yeah, coming out next week. Younger guys. That's just a surprise. Yeah, yeah. Younger than us? <laughs> Significantly. <laughs> Significantly. <laughs> Young enough to be our kid? Probably. Fuck. <laughs> All right. So we'll get some different perspectives on it. We will, and we should, because, listen, because really we want to make sure that everybody is getting something from this. We don't want it to just be like, well, who are these guys? They don't know shit. They're yeah. they're, they're hobbyist black belts, yeah. but we're hobbyist Poor black guys. belts, which is a good thing, because if we were professional fucking black belts, we wouldn't be making this podcast. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> if I was an armchair warrior, I wouldn't be doing this. Hell damn, yeah. So, yes. So, we do this shit because we love it. You know what I mean? Because it's important to us. And what do we say, right? If it's important to you, you'll find a way. If it's not, you'll find an excuse. And, you know, we haven't excused ourselves from this shit not one single week since we started. Not one, huh? Hell damn yeah. We're still going to bring it, man. Man, we're doing some damn things. Yeah. So... I don't know. Did we resolve anything? I think I think we kind of did. I we kind of did, did, but we it's it's definitely slanted to our perspective. It is. We recognize that. Yes. You know? So we're you realistic. Know, it, could be, man. it could be a little subjective, but yeah, we're not the be all end all. Yeah. These are just our opinions. Anyway, this is just our freaking opinions, yeah. man. So you know, and they're like, you know, you know what they're like. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else we got, Rod? I think we're kind of good. I think we covered most points of it. We went through all the different belt ranks, what you should be doing, what you should not be doing, kind of like what your mindset should be, what your intentions level should be. Yeah. I think I think that's that was my main objective. I just want to get that out there. Cool. But I think we got us we got a solid team, man. I think our guys are legit, man. I I, I really do. I like to shout out our guys because 
our school, man, this is like a, it's in a good place because we have a good mix of students. Agreed. And our guys are really, really putting a lot of effort in, man. We They're just really said, hungry. Was it Friday or actually was, was it Wednesday or Friday? It might have been just this past Wednesday, but we were like from white oh, yes. up. There was no easy road. No, no easy road. We got some tough guys. I was like, because <laughs> like I'm coming off that little chest injury. I'm right? like, I'll go in. Let me see if I can just flow with something. I'm like, like, nah, I ain't roll nobody, dude. Nah. I'm like, I'm everybody like, here is a beast, right? It's like yeah. you can't you can't go in there with an injury no, and think, dude. oh, I'm I'm just gonna nurse this injury and roll Our guys are tough. roll with somebody easy. Our guys are tough. You better take your ass to the YMCA. Yeah. Yeah. Shit. So not shit on the YMCA. So shout out to our guys, man, and shout out to you guys for watching it. We appreciate you guys. Definitely put some comments so we can at least kind of interact. Let's see where you guys, you know, what you guys think about some of these points. Please do. Even if you disagree, it's cool. We just want it. We liked a little banter. It's been so, fun, actually. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, <laughs> like the video, subscribe. Definitely subscribe. Share it out to your friends. Let's keep this thing going. We're going to try to bring you guys some new, exciting content going forward. Keep it. Keep this train going. Uh, yes, get sir. some really cool guests on and just keep growing the channel. Absolutely. But... I think on that note, unless cool. you got anything else, Shaver, we're good, right? Man, we're just having a great time. Let's, let's keep the party going. Keep it going, man. Shout out to you guys, and we'll see you next week. Us. Us. Yes, I want you to check this guy out. I'm down. He's a little controversial. That's good. Yeah. I mean, what to say? Damn, I'm fucking crazy. <laughs> He's one thing that's like, don't wear those BJJ shirts. <laughs> Some tap on shirts. That's what will get you killed. <laughs> So if you're fucking so sensitive that you can't yeah. hear something that you can do better, it, it, well, then it's that fucking, was it uh, uh, Dunner, Dunner Kruger? Dunner Kruger. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, already think you're the fucking shit. Yeah. You just a fart. Recording. <laughs> 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 Get all these light levels adjusted. Let's see. Yep, that looks good. Bring that house light down more. All right. Fuck it. Let's make some shit up. Let's make some music. We'll do it, man. All right, we'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> All right, ready? I'm ready. Let's do this shit.